Hey everyone, it's Don with Don's Field of Dreams Cards. Wanted to make a video today just showing stuff. Not interested in seeing uh, what the price of things are. And my boy Mangini said, or texted, he's like, geez, even some of the collectors are, are showing prices. So we're not going to do that tonight. But um, going back to Mangini, he did impersonation. He kind of ripped on me a little bit about saying, he didn't say it outright, but he's kind of saying I'm sappy. Love you guys. And and he's right, I am. Uh, the YouTube community is, whether I like it or not, it's part of my life. It absolutely is. Uh, probably talk to at least somebody every day, if not every day, at least three or four times a week. And uh, it is what it is. I, I love this community, and I, I think a lot of you do too. That's why we stay on here. It, it's getting, John's going to rip on me because I always say it's not about the cars anymore, but it really isn't. Uh, you know, how many times can I look at a Neil Walker card? Whatever the hell year that is. But you know what I mean. It's like we, we've all seen the cards and I don't need to see another rookie Hank Aaron. I, I know what that card looks like. But I thought tonight I would show things that I've been given from the YouTube community. And I'm just going to show, for the most part, non-cards because there's so many cards. And I'm not going to mention names because I'm going to leave someone out. But if you see it here, you know you gave it to me. And uh, again, just looking for different ways to make videos, trying to do something interesting. Apparently, if I put my puppy in the uh, the photo that shows up on YouTube or Hank Aaron Rookie, I get a shitload more views than I do about the content because those two videos are killing it and they're, they're not that good. So let's start off with, I have a question here. How many of you have had a YouTuber make something for you with your name on it? I don't get why he gave me such a big nose and ears, but he's got my name right. And I have to admit, there's another Don in the community. I'm not thrilled about that, but I guess, uh, you know, it's a popular name. There's a whole two of us now catching up with the Mikes and the Erics. So I will show one card and like I said, I've been given so many cards. I just, it's impossible to figure out or remember everything I've been given, but I do appreciate it. But I do have to share this one card because it's not mine. And you may ask, why do you have it? Someone loaned this to me and said, I want it in your collection until you get one. And as you can see, it's, it's like a near mint condition. Barely been touched. And, uh, what an awesome gesture. So, you know who you are that gave me, or not gave me this, loaned this to me. I appreciate it, brother. So I'm just randomly going to pick stuff up that were given to me by YouTubers. And they're not going to be baseball cards. And there's going to be one that I paid some money for, but it was, he gave me a steal. But the rest of it was just all sent to me. Uh, it's given these matches. Easy on Biggie's. Stan had a... Uh, a restaurant in St. Louis. So I met this person in person and he gave me this. So very cool. I was given this great little bat. I don't know if you can see it there, but Stan Musial. And you're gonna see a theme. Most of it's Musial and Clemente. But you know, awesome. And this is a YouTuber that I don't really communicate with much. And I was amazed that I got that. Uh, maybe you can call this a card. I've been given two of these. And that's okay if I get doubles. Got a couple pins that were given to me. I guess you could call these baseball cards. But I don't have any of them. They're not square. They don't have stats. I know y'all know what these are, but I don't. I mean, if I actually spent the time and researched and did a little homework for my videos, I would know what these are. I know they they came with like in a piece with a bunch of other ones, but um, you know blank backs. So are these cards? I, I guess they're graded, but who cares? 1979. I was 12 years old, and my dad let me stay up to watch the World Series. I'll never forget that. Little did I know. I was 12 then, so 44 years later, I wouldn't have seen another World Series that the Pirates have been in. 
So, nice dog. The great piece, some of these are from Baltimore and some are from Pittsburgh. So, great piece from a YouTuber. Uh, you guys might recognize this. Little coaster. One of my favorite cards, and I just did a video on my top three cards, and the more I thought about it, I might change my opinion on that because I don't know how I left this out. I mean, I, I love this card. This should have been the top three, but I don't know what I would have picked or thrown out. But a fellow YouTuber had this made for me. That's so cool. I hang this on my wall. Just, God, he didn't have enough cards, but even though he didn't have a ton, he had a great one. Love that piece. Um, gotten a few autographs from people. Van Museum. I'm part of the Clemente 21 Club. A little coaster. Which I have another piece. If you look at Club 21. That uh, I'm pretty privileged to be in two clubs, actually. So when... Uh, Dave, Blue Jacket 66, that are the clicks. Well, I guess I'm in two of them. But, uh, and I believe Chris from Missouri said he wished he was in the Misfits and Club 21. Sorry, brother, you're getting in neither. Um, my boy Lou did a video about the Misfits the other day. Or not about the Misfits, a little bit of a rant video, but said how the Misfits in our chat, how it'd be great YouTube, but you guys couldn't handle it. And, there's a couple guys that aren't in it that could handle it, but we're not real nice to each other. Uh, but that's why we love each other. I always said, if if I don't rip on you, I probably don't like you. Um, but if you rip on me, and I must have a lot of friends because a lot of people rip on me. <laughs> but uh, another cool postcard, Stan the Man and Musial. Or, duh, Stan the Man and Musial. Stan the Man and Mantle. Blank postcard was sent to me. Uh, I guess you could call this a baseball card. I don't know what it is, but he, I was told it was rare. So I might have to ask him what it was. So this piece has a story. So uh, I wasn't at last year's National, but I was in Atlantic City, and I picked up this tin of Stan Musial. And I was with this particular YouTuber back at her place, and he's not a misfit, but he was he hung out at our house a lot. And uh, he said, hey, Don, there's there's three others. And we looked it up. And he goes, there's this pirate. Check this one out. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And I'm like, oh, it was a good price. I'm like, oh, it just sold. And then I looked at the name of the buyer. And I was like, just bought that. He's like, yeah, I did. For you. And uh, mailed this to me. So, very cool piece. Uh, got this sent in the mail. Another YouTuber. Roy face. I'm not much of a um, autograph collector, but I do appreciate him when I get him. This guy bought a picture pack for his Cleveland Indians, and uh, Connor was in there. And uh, I was up at his house. We're going to a ball game, and he gave this to me. And the same guy texted me this summer from the National and said, Hey, do you have one of these? I said, No, I don't. And he said, Well, you do now. I was like, are you kidding me? And uh, he bought me this book. And it's it's my second favorite artist next to this bearded dork in Cleveland. But this YouTuber knew that I liked, uh, of course, I get the one picture where it's not a lot of art. But um, Craig Krinler or Krinler, I'm, I, I never pronounce the name right. But, you know, it, I love the artist and I love the Negro Leagues, the history of it. Because there's there's so much of it that happened in Pittsburgh. So, love that. Uh, it always wanted this piece. It was sent to me, and I'd like to get it matted sometime. And it's just a great Time magazine from Stan Musial from 1949. So uh, a couple years after Rick Oddball Cards was born. Great piece. Um, this piece, I have one, but I was thrilled to get a second one. And uh, And the reason being is... First of all, this was presented uh, compliments to the St. Louis Cardinals, their last game, September 29th, 1963. But I somehow want to map this photo that's in this package 
with what I just read off on the back. So somehow I'll put that in. Uh, this piece has a couple of um, a, a couple of not meanings, but two stories tied in one. I'm, it's going to give one of the guys away because it's from the basement collection, but it's probably going to give them both away because the other guy bought the collection. So y'all know the two guys I'm talking about, but I'm just going to stay away from keeping names. But he sent me a photo of this and uh, threw a price at me and. He's famous for going on his videos and saying, never pay sticker, offer whatever. So I offered him a ridiculous price as a joke. And he was like, dude, I'm giving you the YouTube discount, which he did. This, so this card wasn't free, but it might as well be. It was way below what it would have cost me. So it came from a particular basement. Did you all know what I'm talking about? From a particular guy that bought the collection. But, uh, you know, he thought of me before he... Uh, Put it on auction. And uh, I don't have it here either, but this particular guy sent me six Cuban cigars one time. So that was pretty sweet. Um, got this coffee mug. This is one of my favorite, a pose from my favorite card, the 1950 Bowman Jackie. Of course, I got Roberto on it. And I've got Stan on it. So uh, I feel like Alex, cup of coffee, whatever his video is called. The Pill Cat from 1979. This, these are my boys. And knowing the guy that sent me this, not sure. I'm afraid what's in there, but I do appreciate. You know who you are, my man. Appreciate you sending me this. And he also thought so much of me that he sent me this stellar Mary Mendoza, because everyone's going to grade this card. And then he sent me this. He likes me so much. He said, let me find the most trashed bobblehead I can find and send it to Dawn. And you know what? I love it because it reminds me of this guy. So I've got a stand bobblehead here. I've got one of the, uh, it's not the original, but it's the 25th anniversary of the Heartland Baseball Stars. So this was sent to me. And I do have the bat. I just was trying to get this video up. So... You know, the person bought this for me. I, I have not lost that. Uh, two guys chipped in and purchased this for me at the National two years ago in Lenox City. And what's cool about it, Buck O'Neill's on here. Uh, where is he? Right here. So a great Negro League piece with some autographs on it that uh, two fellow YouTubers went in on. Uh, recently, I got this text saying, do you want this? And I was like, heck yeah. Look at this old like newspaper piece of Stan Musial. Uh, 1943. I mean, right during the war. Oh, it's got that good smell, too. And then one last final... Oh, take it back. I shouldn't show this because, like... Really? His legs weren't that skinny. I kind of drew this, could have done a little better job, but it was free. And then the last piece I was given, again from the National. This is after the 1960 home run. Suck it, James and Lou. Beat the Yankees. Mazeroski. So I wanted to do something a little different than just show cards and just show my appreciation for this great community. And, uh,. Man, I'm so fortunate. I, you know, I said when I wanted to get into YouTube that I wanted to meet people, but I never dreamt that I'd be gifted all this stuff and and know so many year, so much about your families and personal things. I love it. And uh, sorry, John, you can make fun all you want, but I am who I am, and that's how I feel about this community. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching my video, and I'll talk to you soon.